Solve the equation y over y plus 2 minus 1 over y minus 2 is equal to 8 over y squared minus 4. Let's start by um, factoring this denominator right here. So let's write a step uh, y over y plus 2 minus 1 over y minus 2 is equal to 8 over that's a difference of squares and it factors as y plus 2 times y minus 2. Now, before we get started or go any further here, let's just make a note that um, any value for y that causes a zero denominator cannot be used in that equation. Okay? So right here, a y value of negative 2 would cause zero, therefore make this equation undefined. Uh, in this denominator, a y value of positive 2 would cause a zero denominator and make the equation undefined. So let's make a note right off the bat that y cannot be negative 2 or positive 2. Now, let's go about solving this equation by multiplying through by our lowest common denominator, which is y plus 2, y minus 2. As we multiply that times y over y plus 2, the y plus 2's cancel, leaving y times y minus 2. Minus sign next. As we multiply that times our next term, the y minus 2's cancel, leaving 1 times y plus 2. On the right-hand side, both of those factors cancel, leaving the number 8. Now let's solve our resulting linear equation. Distribute to get y squared minus 2y minus y minus 2 is equal to 8. Let's combine like terms and write this next step as y squared minus 3y. Let's also bring that 8 over to the left, subtracting 8 from both sides. Negative 2 minus that 8 is a negative 10 equals zero. So we have a quadratic equation. It's in standard form. Let's solve this using the factoring method. This trinomial on the left is factorable. First terms are y and y to give a product of y squared. Factors of negative 10 that sum to negative 3 are a minus 5 and plus 2. Now use your zero factor property y minus 5 is equal to 0, or y plus 2 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 5, or y is equal to negative 2. And that's a no on this one. We, we've already determined previously that a y value of negative 2 is going to cause a denominator of 0. So we cannot use this as a possible solution. Reject that one. It isn't going to work. But do go ahead and check this value, y equal 5. It will work in the original equation. Go ahead and check it just to make sure, but it will. So let's define this then and describe our solution set as the number 5.